I think one of the main things is to pay attention to your driving. Um, don't drink and drive. Stay buckled up. Don't go out in the woods and do stupid stuff. Um, you know, just things like that. Stay buckled up. Drive the speed limit. Make sure your tires are inflated correctly. And be a responsible driver. Now, what about somebody who may not actually be the driver, but who is a passenger in a vehicle? Because, you know, kids like to do things together. Uh, how, how can we help each other uh, drive safely and stay alive? Well, I think positive peer pressure is the way to do that. If you get somebody in the vehicle, um, you know, make sure that everybody in the vehicle is buckled up. Be the responsible person. Uh, don't go and indulge in alcoholic beverages and drive down the road. We see that with... Some of the youth uh, today, they'll get up in the woods and they'll do things like that, and they get back in their vehicles and they drive down and they hurt yourself or hurt somebody else, and we don't want to see that this year. The big thing uh, right now is the restraints. Make sure that everybody's properly restrained in the vehicle, and then you're driving the speed limit, and you just be a responsible driver out there. That would help us out a lot. All right. And uh, should we get pulled over by a highway patrol trooper, what's what's the proper way to respond to a, an authority figure like that? Well, if you do get pulled over by a trooper or anyone, uh, make sure you keep your hands visible, pull all the way to the right. Uh, in a safe place is the big thing. Don't pull over against the guardrail. Pull over in a safe place. Uh, put your hands on the steering wheel. Um, be very courteous to the, the officer, the trooper that's stopping you. And uh, ask, you know, when they ask you for their documentation, make sure that you uh, provide everything they're asking for. And I think the biggest deterrent is don't let yourself get caught doing anything or, you know, don't do anything that you're going to cause alarm to, to the public or a trooper out there on the road. Because our job is, you know, public safety out there. We're out here to save lives, and we want to try to get that done to the best of our ability and, if we have the public help us, I'll do that. It's a lot easier. You would also, I remember uh, you had mentioned that pull, pulling over in a safe place. What what are the rules when you see somebody pulled over and you're on the highway? What's what's the proper way to keep everybody safe? Well, you need to slow down. If, you, if you're on a two-lane highway, you need to slow down, uh, yield to those blue and red lights. You know, slow down, proceed with caution. If you're on the interstate, you go into the other lane, the opposite lane, and give us some room. Um, that there is a move over along the state, and uh, we are going to be enforcing that here this summer.